Good morning. It's Sunday morning and it's a beautiful, sunny, crisp day out here in Ottawa. Uh, temperature is currently minus nine Celsius, relatively no wind. Um, and I'm just heading out on my 18 kilometer run. So just thought I'd uh, t tell you what I'm wearing today. I have on, you know, a fairly, I, I would say a medium weight jacket with a medium weight top underneath. Uh, I'm wearing, me <laughs> everything's medium, medium weight uh, tights, very thin wind pants because I do find that my legs get a bit chilly when I'm out running in the winter time. I also have, I have mitts, but I have uh, finger gloves underneath because also my hands get cold and I wear the double layer so that once my hands do warm up, I can take one layer off. I have my, a very thin buff, just, you know, in case my nose gets cold or if I have to go to inside to the washroom, although I do have um, a face mask with me as well, just, just in case uh, the buff isn't uh, sufficient. I, um... I'll let you know at the end of this video how uh, the run went and how the clothing worked out. And later on today, I'll talk a bit more on how to dress for the winter. So during my run this morning, I ran into some of my friends. And as you can see from the picture, we all seem to be dressed pretty much the same. We all have one or two layers on the bottom, a couple of layers on top, you know, the hat, the, the buff, mitts, uh, a scarf perhaps if, um, you know, rather than a, than a buff. We're all dressed appropriately for the temperatures that we were having that morning. Well, it was a great run I had this morning. Temperature was, was great. Um, it wasn't that cold and really no wind to speak of. What I was wearing was absolutely perfect. I wasn't too hot. I wasn't too cold. As you can see, I've changed jackets. I always like to change my jacket, get out of that running jacket and put something, you know, nice and cozy and warm on for the drive home. So now that I am home, I'm going to go in, I'll take my shower, get nice and warm, and I will be back with some more great tips for running in the winter time. Hi, I'm back. Uh, so before I get into talking about some of the tips that I have, I thought I would share a bit more with you in terms of the clothing that I wear. So today what I was wearing, you know, I wore the, all the medium weight type uh, clothing. I wear that typically between, I would say minus four and probably up to minus 20. So, you know, that's a fairly uh, broad range of temperatures uh, where I can wear kind of the same clothing. Um, but now once I get into like the close to the minus 20, maybe minus 18, or anything with kind of a minus 20 wind chill, I'm going to start, um, I'll, I'll add a, some layers. So I just have some clothing here behind me. So one of the things that I'll do is I have like a merino wool base layer. So when it gets really, really cold, I'll wear that under, you know, this is the top I was wearing today which is a medium type weight top. I know it's really hard. You can't really tell on the video kind of the, what the material is. And, you know, I have a couple of tops that are kind of this, uh, like this. And this will just get me through the whole winter. This with, you know, the, uh, the base layer. Then what I wear typically then on the bottom is I wear those tights that I was wearing today. And these are the... the <laughs> can't really tell what they look like inside they have a bit of um you know like a little fuzzy kind of material in there they are actually very nice and warm and I actually love these pants because they do have the you know the pockets on the side where I, I can put my phone it fits my my iPhone which is which is great it uh it doesn't bother me at all when I'm running with the iPhone in in the large pocket then like today I wore these you know, very, very, very little lightweight pants, super lightweight, but they just cut any kind of wind that might be out there and it keeps my legs really nice and warm. But now, like I say, if it starts to get really a bit colder, then I also have, um, I have a heavier wind pant and the wind, these wind pants have um, a heavy layer in the front because typically that's where the wind is going to be. 
and that's where I'm going to feel it in my legs or that's what will get cooler. I really don't need another layer of pants on. If it's like pushing minus 30 and that's kind of my max, minus 30 is my max. If it's colder than that, I really don't want to be outside running. Um, then I might put on like a thin base layer on under my tights as well. Now, in terms of the jackets, well, you know, uh, this jacket that I was wearing today, it's a super, it's a super versatile jacket as far as I'm concerned, because I can wear this cycling, I can wear this uh, snowshoeing, I can wear this cross-country skiing. It's nice and bright. It's, you know, I'm, uh, I'm very visible, especially if I'm running in the early morning or early evening. And this this jacket actually gets me through from the fall right through to the spring. For me, it's really all about what's what I'm wearing underneath. Um, so yeah, this jacket is so far it's it's uh, it's ter it's terrific. Works really well. Now a couple of other things. So I like to wear like kind of a merino wool sock. I find my feet tend to get pretty cold, so I need something that's um, going going to keep them warm. So. I'll wear a merino wool sock or I'll wear these kinds of little socks that are really nice and uh, cozy inside and they actually do a good job on my feet. Then sometimes if it's really mucky outside, I also have these little neoprene covers that um, I can put over my sock and it just kind of, it's just like an extra layer of protection keep, to keep your feet um, a bit drier so then they stay warmer. Now. Most of the time when I'm out running uh, in Ottawa, you know, it's very, you know, they plow the streets really well um, if, if we, when we have a snowfall. I typically will run down along the canal just because it's uh, such, such a great place to run. There's always people out. I always see people I know and um, I, I love running down along the canal. And I'll just typically wear my regular running shoes when I'm doing that. Now, if... If we have snow and it might be a bit slushy and a bit mucky, I'll put um, my ice tracks over top of my shoes and they have like, you can see like little, little picks in there and that will cut, that will grab, you know, the snow underneath and will make sure that you're not going to fall. Now, one thing I do not do is if we've had freezing rain and it's like a skating rink outside, I will not run. I don't believe it's worth the risk of falling and breaking a bone. And, you know, the next day it'll have cleared up. Typically that's what our weather's like. It's it can be miserable one day and then the next day, you know, they've come along and they've put sand down, they've put salt down, they've shoveled things and we're good to go again. Now too, if, now too, if the, um, you know, it, it, if the sidewalks aren't that great, I also have my, um, and if it's mushy out, you know, very slushy, I have my Gore-Tex trail running shoes. You know, they've got like nice treads. So I'll wear those as well. And with the Gore-Tex, they're windproof and they're waterproof. So again, keep your feet nice and nice and toasty warm. I, I will, I also always wear a hat and I find what I want in a hat is that it comes down and covers my ears because quite often I'll see people running and you know their earlobes are not covered and I'm thinking Ooh, you might want to pay attention to that because you know they can freeze and you can get frostbite so I, I always make sure that I have a hat that um, covers my earlobes. Now this hat is a bit multifunctional because it actually has a light in the front that I can put on if I'm out in the early morning or in the dusk. Uh, it's not the best of lights, but nonetheless, it does shine uh, some brightness, especially if a pathway is, is fairly dark. I also will wear a buff. Um, like today I wore this, if this is a very thin buff, I will wear this um, just because sometimes, you know, you want to protect your face and your, or you just want to warm up your cheeks or your nose and having something thin is great. Now, when it gets a bit colder, uh, if it's going to get like another 10 degrees colder, 10, 20 degrees colder, I do have a polar fleece buff that I will wear. And that just, you know, does keep things uh, a lot warmer. In terms of gloves, in terms of the, the gloves that I wear, I usually wear finger gloves with a mitten. 
Now these ones are, are a bit thick. I, I do have thinner ones that um, quite often I'll wear as well. I just find my hands get cold, so I just find it's important to not let them get cold and stay cold. So by having the two layers, especially the mitten just provides that extra wind protection I find. Then my hands are toasty warm. And if I get hot when I'm running, then I can always take off the top layer and just, you know, carry those along with me. The other, th the other thing that's, um, that I have that I love, this is, well, I'll show it this way. This is, um, why Knox gear. I'll put a link in the description below if you're interested in something like this. Um, I love this. I wear this, uh, all the time when it's dark out because, you know, it's super lightweight. You don't even know that you're wearing it, but I don't know. If, I don't know if it'll come through on the, the video, but there's all different colors. I can have it blinking red, blinking green. I can have it go through, um, you know, kind of the range of, of different colors. And it's, you are very visible, very visible, which is really important when, if you're running um, at night or early in the morning, whenever it's dark out. Something else that um, is good to have maybe in your pocket are a pair of these like hot paws so that if your hands or your feet do get cold while you're out running, that you could take one of these and you could warm it up. Because these days, you know, with uh, with COVID, there's really no place to go and warm up. Um, nothing is open. Not really. There's nothing open that you could just go in and just kind of warm yourself. So it's important that you have, you know, um, everything that you need and that you're dressed appropriately for when you're running in the cold weather. As well, don't forget sunscreen. Just because it's winter doesn't mean that we shouldn't be wearing sunscreen. Uh, like like a day like today it was a beautiful sunny day. We're still we're still going to get some of those sun rays. Um, so that's really important. And and some people too, when it's really windy out, they'll want to protect their face a bit more. So they'll put on you know, like some like body glide or Vaseline, just like on your no on the nose and on the cheeks. And that just kind of helps prevent it from perhaps getting, you know, any kind of windburn or frostbite even. So that that too is really important. So that's about it in terms of what I think it's good to wear. Uh, you know, it's surprising. You really don't need a, a lot of clothing. It's the important piece is that you layer what, what it is that you're wearing and that you do wear those materials that are breathable. For example, don't wear a cotton t-shirt. Cotton t-shirt, you're just going, you're going to sweat and the moisture is not going to wick away. It's going to stay in the cotton and it's going to get cold and damp and then you will feel cold and damp. So it's really important to ensure that you are wearing the clothing with the appropriate materials that will keep you warm and dry when you're outside running and that's just going to make your run a lot more enjoyable. There are some other tips that I have when it comes to running outdoors in the winter time. Now I've gone through all the clothing that I wear but that's me. That's what works for me. I think everybody needs to experiment with the, 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 the clothing, the layers that you're wearing we're all different when it comes to our tolerance of heat and cold. Uh, one of the one of the tips I have is, you know, you look at the temperature before you go outside. And I think that's very important. I often see people wearing clothing that's totally like not appropriate for the temperature. And I think, did you not look at the weather? <laughs> like, <laughs> that's important. And to me, that's the first thing I do when I wake up is I look at the weather and I determine based on the weather what it is that I'm going to be wearing that day. So yes, yeah, so experiment. Um, if you're going out for a run and it's a temperature that you may not be used to, so you don't really know what you should be wearing, put what you think you should and go outside and maybe run around the block. Maybe do a 10 minute run and you'll get a sense of, oh, okay, yeah, no, I'm I, I'm comfortable or Ooh, no, I'm kind of chilly. I need another layer or I'm too hot. I need to take off a layer. I think that's really important is that you experiment until you get really, um, you know, adapt at knowing what to wear for what temperature. The type of workout that you do will also impact on the clothing that you're wearing. If, if you're going out for a long, slow run, you may need to be wearing a little bit more. 
if you're going out and doing like really some speed work, interval work, hill training, you're going to be sweating a lot more probably. So you may not need that extra layer. So be cognizant of the level of effort that you're going to be putting into your workout. The other thing is have some dry clothes for when you finish your workout if you're not running from home. For example, I, like I say, I typically drive to the Arboretum and I bring with me a warm jacket, extra gloves, so that I can change out of my running jacket and at least put on a really nice, heavy, warm jacket that's going to keep me warm until I get home. I mentioned it earlier that, you know, bring some hot paws with you. I think that's just a really good thing to do just in case your hands, you know, do get cold. Um, there's really nothing worse in terms of feeling if your hands or your feet are cold. An important tip, and this is for you men out there, is that you should be wearing windproof briefs. It's a really, really important piece of your winter running wardrobe. Um, it's very important. And the other thing that's super important is that you need to be visible. If you're running when in, in you know, the early morning at, at nighttime, when, you know, it's dark out, you need to be visible, not only to um, cars, um, but to other runners as well. And sometimes too, what's important if you're running on a path that may not be very well lit is you want to maybe bring um, a headlamp or have, you know, a headlamp built into your hat just so that you too can see. You want to be able to see what the footing looks like beneath your feet, which, you know, you, just, you don't want to go for a tumble because you trip over some ice or a block of snow that's out there. So that's really important as well. And I think my, my last tip is really you want to be hydrated. I know sometimes we can't always carry our drinks with us because they freeze and they get frozen. So if, if it's not possible to bring something with you to drink, a couple of things that you can do. One is just really be hydrated before you leave. Just can always bring like a little plastic flask with you in your pocket so that if there is a washroom along the way, you can always grab, you know, in the, from the, the sink water, you can always grab a, a little flask of water and have a, have a drink there. Anyways, I hope you have found uh, this uh, video informative. And if you've liked the video, I'd love it if you would subscribe or hit the like button. That would be wonderful. Uh, next week, I'm going to be talking about cross training. So until then, have a wonderful week and enjoy all of your runs. Bye now.